Okay, so I've gone through and named all the joints. You can see here I've just gone through, named hip, back one, back two, back three, shoulder, neck one, neck two, neck three, neck four, neck five, up to the head, and then I've named it head tip. All of the end bones I've called uh, something or other tip. Uh, that's just the name convention that I use. And I've just gone through and named everything with fairly basic, straightforward names, including the tail, just, just tail one, tail two, and so on. Um, now, what we need to sort out here is things like the toes, where we actually have more than one toe. So we need to sort out the joints for that. And if you notice here, I actually have more joints than I have pieces of geometry. So we're going to look at how to fix that. I'm going to come along here, and this is the joint that we don't really want. We don't really need the mid-toe three because we've got um, the foot control here, which will actually take care of this first joint. Then we've got mid-toe one, and this part here will actually control this whole claw. So we're going to come here and remove this connection here. So I'm going to hit control P to remove that from the hierarchy. And then I can select this joint and hit delete. Uh, then if I select the low joint here, shift select, high joint, hit P, we'll parent that back into the hierarchy. And uh, now, as you can see, the rotation axis isn't following the joint and we want to fix that up. So if we just come here and click on orient joint, you see that that will snap back into its right position. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and uh, create the rest of the toes. Now I'm going to just go ahead and rename these quickly. I'll just call that left mid zero one, and then this will be zero two, and this one will become zero three, just because that makes a little more sense than what I had originally. And so with this joint selected, I'll go to my transform tool and hit control D to duplicate it. And then I'm just going to drag it out here to the side. And I'm going to keep doing that with the other joints just so that they line up nicely. And it's good to only drag in one axis and don't rotate your joints or else you're going to get rotations in here which you'll need to clean up later on, and it just gets a little bit messy. So uh, generally, when you're placing joints, it's always best to uh, use the transform tool. So I'll just realign those, and I'll duplicate that again, and do the same for the other side. Just aligning these. And we can bring that back a little bit because that toe's a little shorter. Same on the other side here. Okay, so they're all nicely set up, but as you'll notice when I click here, none of the names actually match up. So I just need to add toe in here just to keep my naming uh, correct. So I'm going to come along here, and this is no longer the mid toe, so I'm going to call it toe out zero one. You can go down and rename each of these. I'll just go ahead and pause the video and rename these and come back to you. Okay, so I've got all those renamed correctly and we'll be ready to move on. Um, so you'll notice that the claws up the top here also need to have the same thing done to them. So we're going to quickly do that now. Uh, and if you notice that here, we're actually missing a joint, so we're going to look at having to put a new one in. So I'm going to hit Control p to unparent that, and then I'm going to uh, go into my side view by pressing spacebar, and I'm just going to select my joint tool, click on the elbow joint, and make a wrist joint in here. Hit enter, and then if we go back to our perspective, we can then realign this. What we'll do is click this joint and this one and hit P. And now we're going to rename these to left 
hand, and this one will actually now become left mid zero one, left mid zero two, left mid zero three, and left mid tip. Okay, and now I'm just going to have to go ahead and duplicate these again and do the same as what uh, I'd done earlier for the toes. Just moving these across. Uh, you'll notice that this finger is actually a little bit smaller, so we'll just adjust these like so. And bring that down a little bit. So the side. Okay, excellent. Now we'll do the other side. Control D. shorter and yeah that's looking about what we need I'm just going to go through and rename these again okay so they're all renamed I've just gone through and renamed this chain of fingers index and this chain of fingers ring uh, just simply because they mostly resemble the index and ring fingers that we have and it's just easier than having to write in finger before having to write mid and outer so that's all set up. What we're going to look at next is just mirroring these joints over. So what we have at the top here is our mirror selected joints. If I double click on that to bring up the option box, you'll notice that we have a couple of option, options here. And now because we're mirroring from the left to the right side, we're going to search for any of the names that have left in them and replace that with right. And we also want to be mirroring on the YZ axis. So I'm going to go ahead and click Apply. And you'll see that that has mirrored the left clavicle over to the right clavicle. And all of these are now named correctly as well. So that's great. We're going to go ahead and click on our uh, left thigh over here and go Apply and do exactly the same thing. OK, great. So now we have our joints set up and all ready to go. And we'll look at putting in some IK and FK controls, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.